Hi everyone, Kirby here. Welcome back to my channel, Kirby Scruples. And first, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who sent me uh, kind messages. I got a lot of people sending me private messages through my social media platforms. And you know, your words and the things that you say and just the fact that you care about my situation just, it really warms my heart. I wanted to make this video more about some of my experiences that I had with uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, like I had mentioned in the last video that I wanted to do, but I also want to mention some things that maybe someone who is more of a late bloomer or has been very sheltered, especially growing up in a cultish type religion, and uh, what I did to help myself. Uh, so. After that situation, um, I didn't really get help. I was asked if I wanted help by my parents, but I kind of rejected it. I guess because I had the line of thinking like, there's nothing wrong with me, and I just felt ashamed, and I didn't realize how helpful it would have been for me. Now like many years later, I realized how um, beneficial therapy and counseling and things like that is because it helps educate you on like religious abuse, emotional abuse, and all these things that I am just now hearing about. And that's because of like social media, like how my algorithm is set up uh, on my social media platforms. Like those are the type of things that come up along with other things, of course, but I learned <laughs> that those phrases, terms are, you know, there's, that's actually something that goes on with people and they don't realize that they're dealing with certain type of things that is very toxic. So I wanted to make this video and kind of discuss what happened after that situation and then what has helped me moving forward and um, be, uh, basically healing from that whole process. So after that situation, I was in the mindset of taking back my power, like my feminine power, if you kind of follow me. And I did get involved with another individual who I thought uh, would be safer romantically. And he was a baptized Jehovah's Witness. Uh, my high school boyfriend, I did want that relationship back, but he was not, showing interest in me so i just moved forward and um, i got involved with a baptized witness let's say his name is ricky <sighs> well even though he was baptized he had no scruples uh and he was just not a good candidate for me to have pursued like i really wasn't attracted to him like appearance wise, but I was looking at the fact that he had a car, he had a job and he was a baptized witness. Like when you're a Jehovah's witness and you see a single brother, you try to kind of like zone in and like get him before someone else gets him. And so that's kind of like what I did because like I said, I wanted to take my power back and I wanted to do that in the best way that I could. And that meant like, trying to get married, okay? And a lot of witnesses do this, like get married at a young age because, you know, those hormones and things are going on and they wanna act out with those type of hormones that they have going on. And so, I, you know, even though I was a bit of a late bloomer, I was, those hormones were hitting, hitting me pretty hard. And, you know, my goal wasn't like, I just wanna do this, but I wanted to, also be married I wanted to feel secure in a relationship and feel basically sexually safe so this guy did not care about that even though um, he basically was raised as a witness but some witnesses especially if they grew up in a certain area it's not very they're not very um, as spiritual as they should be within that religion Okay, if that makes sense. And I was very ignorant to that line of mindset of 
people who kind of grew up in that area in the rough areas okay and after several months i had realized he had no scruples like he only cared about what he wanted and uh also too i was still and i'm not innocent i was very clingy and you know i probably was basically getting on his nerves and irritating him because i would call him all the time um, I did the same thing with my ex high school boyfriend and so I was just like looking for their attention looking for their uh, Well, this guy in particular his validation and things like that, which You know that was toxic in itself But he still kept entertaining me instead of like leaving me alone So I thought that we were okay. Well this guy stole money from me um, I did lend it to him and he promised that he would pay it back um, After I gave him that money. I never heard from him again. He met me up at the college campus. I was going to and um, and this was a community college and The state that I live in I, I did get a, a Scholarship and so I was going to school on that scholarship. I was trying to do like something quick that wasn't going to take me to a college like out of state and I still went home back and forth so I was able just to drive there go to school do my classes and like still work and like that's how I arranged it that's how a lot of witnesses who do go to college like do it they go to a community college and they try to get some type of degree that's quick I never end up fin finishing but yeah so I was at my college campus he met me up there I lent him the money and he said he would pay me back it was like six hundred dollars which was a lot for me at that time just to hand over but i was like well i don't have too many expenses when i got baptized this was like 2007 2008 okay when that happened i didn't get baptized until 2015 and i see him again like on the day i got baptized and after like my family left after the whole me getting dipped and getting baptized and now it's time to like just maybe like 10 minutes right before everybody gets back to their seat is when this dude would i say his name was ricky or something comes shows up and shows his face and says congratulations on your baptism and <laughs> a lot of um talks will discuss about like after you get baptized that's when satan is going to really try to try you as a baptized Jehovah's Witness now or baptized Christian because Satan hates the fact that you know a person goes and gets baptized well this person Ricky okay fake name I'm giving here shows up and says congratulations and I was just like shocked because I hadn't seen him in so many years he just disappeared off the face of the freaking earth when I saw him that day like I was very very upset because there was more that was involved with that because we did end up having an intimate relationship and he ended up getting me sick because I got sick from him like you only get sick in this certain type of way if you are being sexually active just because a person's baptized does not mean that they are like a good Christian okay M male or female so and he just like wasn't his like his spiritual scruples were just not there and you know I didn't realize that so once I got sick I like basically forgave him because I'm like well now like this is a thing so like why did you just tell me before and he said that he was like scared so now we have to go to the elders so I went to the elders again and I told them like this is what happened and I didn't even actually have like intercourse with this person. So he goes and tells the elders that I committed a sexual encounter with him when it was actually the, the other way around. This could happen to any other person like even without being in a strict religion okay but because people are in strict religions like how desperate certain people can get like if you're insecure an insecure person is a dangerous person and i used to be insecure and i wasn't necessarily like intentionally trying to hurt people or even hurt myself but i kept hurting myself and like i was just like like the scriptures say like stabbing myself with many wounds and um it was because i wasn't getting what 
the congregation should have been giving to its members. And I wasn't getting that in the household. All the focus is on is urgently go preach and you need to study what the Bible says front to back and pre be prepared for all your meetings. Like the focus isn't on being healthy, being, um, like physically healthy, like eating healthy. There's no focus on that. There's no focus on being emotionally happy. Those are not the themes that they have in the watchtowers. Those are not the themes that they have in um, Bible studies. Those are not the themes that they would have, you know, listed in the theocratic ministry school or the public talk on Sundays. Like it was all about recruiting more people in and becoming a Jehovah's Witness, getting your service hours and looking like a great pioneer, not having the goal of making sure that you have an emotionally nurturing home. You know, checking the energy of the home, like are people walking around on a shows or are you being neglectful? Ricky, okay. He had two things that he did. First was him getting me sick and he knew that he was sick and he got me sick. And even though we didn't have sex per se, you know, like the traditional way of line of thinking of sex, there was a, another sexual act that was performed where I got sick. And then the second thing was, is that he promised me to, to pay me back and he didn't and he just disappeared. Not too long after what had happened to me with being taken advantage of. And like I said, I wasn't innocent. I was being a stupid girl, okay? And I, just, I honestly just did not know any better. I was still on public reproof, so it wasn't like I got announced again. cured and everything perfectly fine still in good health if you are a person woman in particular a young woman or whatever age honestly and you kind of are a late bloomer and you're leaving the jw organization or say i don't know like say you still want to stay but you're now like open to dating someone who's not a jehovah's witness like these are some places that I suggest that you like look for some guidance okay so one I would YouTube a woman named Chloe underscore okay so Chloe underscore she is a good uh, person to kind of like help guide you and stay in your femininity and um, make sure that you have your scruples like your spiritual scruples and like respect yourself and things like that and like she clues you up on how men think okay because there's certain things that if you didn't have a father or a uh, male figure growing up in your life where they didn't kind of explain like how the male psyche works because the organization definitely doesn't do that they don't especially if you are a woman of color in particular i suggest watching chloe underscore I was very mad when I first started listening to it because I just felt like, how come I never knew this? And she just breaks it down for you to truly understand like the difference between the male psyche and the female psyche. Not just saying like, oh, we just think differently, okay? She gives you a breakdown, okay? Another person that's really good is either Universal Guru or Universe Guru. I'll list it, okay? But really really good and she is indian and pakistani she basically cherry picked from the eastern culture and the western culture and took the good and kind of meshed it together and saw like how dating now today is beneficial by kind of meshing the two and then she explains how she came up with that she's a very highly educated woman and she's also very feminine and uh, she's married with children and she didn't grow up like, I can't, I don't know if she had like a cultish background or anything like that, but if you can kind of think of like the Eastern culture, like how strict that can be. So she has that essence in there too. So she is a really good person that I would start following and listening to her YouTube videos. Hmm. The Love Diva, she's, she's pretty good. 
uh, and then also to Anna Bay. Anna Bay is like old money and she's a, a white woman and when I say old money, she has an old money energy. She's not, she actually didn't even come from old money, but she has that old money energy, okay? And she's kind of like an etiquette school and how to dress and how to eat and things like that. And then like she has like a whole affluent school or program that you can do. The one book that I would suggest would be, now this is not a great title. Like it's, it sounds, like when I say it's not a great title, it just sounds like, so I be reading that book. Like it's called Ho Tactics. It's it's slightly controversial for like the Christian woman, okay? But it's still a good read to kind of be clued up because it helps you understand the male psyche, especially a worldly person, a, a worldly man. Not to say to like go act these things out and do exactly what this guy says in this book or anything like that, or any of the other dating coaches or anything like that. And I'm saying dating coaches because they're more than just dating coaches. Listen to these videos like as you're cleaning, taking a shower, driving in traffic, okay? Um, don't just sit there and watch them, okay? Because they're not like videos where they're super entertaining or anything like that. But they are good videos for you to listen to. Those are the YouTube videos in that book that I suggest. Uh, those are the ones that um, helped me. I'm looking forward to making more videos like this to help other people so that they can possibly heal if they're in a similar situation or prevent somebody getting into a situation like this. Uh, so have a nice day. Thanks for watching.